Hi, good morning. Today is Clean Up Australia Day and I'm here joined by these amazing volunteers because what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean up, we're gonna spend two hours cleaning up this beautiful beach, but also the greenery and the rocks. But before we start, actually one thing I wanna say, Sydney could be a little bit deceiving and on the surface it looks all pristine as we can see behind us. But we're gonna find out in two hours what we actually found. Now, but before we start, I want to ask these great volunteers, what actually brought you here today, guys, to, for Clean Up Australia Day? Um, well, we are locals to the area, so um, we're always very concerned about what our local environment is like. Okay. Um, we often see rubbish when we're swimming and when okay. we get to go to our local beaches. So we're very concerned about um, picking it up and making sure it doesn't get into the oceans as yeah. we see it. Fantastic. What was your name, sorry? Silka. Silka. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Silka. Now, and we have these helpers here. Now, what brought you here today? Audrey. Um, what brought me here today is my mum, because she made me come. <laughs> Makes sense. Thanks. Thanks, Audrey. And what about you? What's your name? I'm Preston. What brought you here today, Preston? What brought me here today was the same thing that Audrey said. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good, thanks. I have one more question for you guys before we start, and that is, what type of environment do you feel is the most threatened and what needs to be helped with cleaning up? Well, why don't we start with you, Preston? I think the environment that is the most threatened is this beach. Okay, that's a good point because we right here, we will help with it. What about you, Audrey? Well, I don't really know. Um, Maybe, um, well, I went to this beach on a boat, my dad's boat, and we just couldn't go because it was so polluted. Okay, that's good. So would that be the ocean? Do you think it's most uh, polluted? I don't really know where it was. Fair enough. No, thanks, Audrey. And what about you, Silke? Um, I would just say where there's also um, animals having their habitats and um, they have to then try to exist with our rubbish and... Uh, especially in the oceans, okay. yeah. All right. But that's you know the soil as well, and yes. you know okay. the earth. Yes. Well, that's actually a very good point, Silka. Thanks for that. That's because the reason why we're here today is actually this cove, Camp uh, Camp Cove Beach, is not facing the ocean. So it's good opportunity, good location to clean not only the beach but also the greenery above and the rocks to help our marine, terrestrial and aquatic animals, which we're gonna do right now. And we'll touch base in two hours time. I'm Jan from sustainablebutterflies.com.au. We are on a mission to make Australian educational and care organizations sustainable, frugal and improve their carbon footprint. The link to our website is in the description below. And one of our columns of sustainability is waste reduction. So it's quite topical today with Clean Up Australia Day. We're back, it's quarter past 12, so just under two hours. And look what we, uh, what we picked with the volunteers in just under two hours time. So all of this, so we've got two full and heavy bags of recyclables and two bags of uh, non-recyclables, general waste, plus this terrible foamy mat that was wedged into the rocks. What was it? Sorry? Oh yeah, and the, the cup. Okay, so now, however, before we finish, I want to ask uh, our volunteers one question. And the question is, out of what, if I can get this out of my thing, what have you found, guys, to be the most harmful to the environment after, out of this rubbish that we picked today? What do you think is the most harmful to the environment, Silke? Um, for me, it was just all the little tiny, tiny bits of plastic that okay. is just so, so difficult to pick up. Um, okay. We did our best picking through it, but I felt like a lot of it we just couldn't get to. It was so tiny and I just worry that that floats out into the ocean. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it, yeah, it's mm -hmm. just so hard to collect. That's the biggest problem. Mate, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that is not this big... Uh, big bulky things but the tiny little bits that I uh, can get in and okay now Preston what have you found to be the most harmful to the environment out of the rubbish you found today I think styrofoam and 
and um um cans and also I think um um straws because straws are the thing that make um turtles die. Oh, that, that that's a good point, uh, Preston. Yeah, and we love. Do you love turtles? And and cans are made out of metal, which can't break down, so the animals can eat it and die still. Okay. And yeah. And what was my other thing again? <laughs> uh, what have you found to be most harmful, damaging to the environment out of the rubbish? Oh so yeah, and styrofoam is so tiny and it can float. So and fishes can float too. So maybe an animal and any animal can eat fish. So oh, if okay. it eats it, then it can die. Okay, so the, you named a range of uh, disturbing uh, waste that we found here and. Uh, also, Audrey, what, out of the rubbish that you found today, what have you found to be the most harmful to the environment? Well, it was styrofoam because it didn't break down like um, totally go away, but it broke down like got in because styrofoam is made of, of little, little, little dots and things, and yeah. it broke down into those, and we tried to collect as much mm, as much as we can, but we couldn't. Okay. Okay. Very good. Well, I firstly would like to. Thank you very much for today's helping and you know without your help we wouldn't have found as much as we have found so thanks to you none of this stuff is there polluting the environment and harming these animals so really thank you very much for coming <laughs> thank you Jan yeah it was awesome. good all right okay awesome cool all right now, we must not forget that Rita, our volunteer here, actually collected so much of the rubbish that actually is uh, shared, you know, bef between the group during these two hours, especially this big bag of mats and this marine debris. Now, I'm actually curious, Rita, um, would you be able to say a few things? So. One thing I want to ask you, Rita, uh, what have you found during these two hours? And also, out of what you found, what do you consider be, to be uh, most harmful to the environment? Um, so I found these, which is like a massive plastic. I'm actually not sure what it is. I think it's a tarp. I think it's a tarp. But um, the most, I don't know, it? maybe it's a, a tarp, a roll out oh, mat yeah. It, yeah, it could of be, some yeah. sort. Yeah. Um, while this is like really, really harmful for like a marine life, for example, like turtles, yeah. um, the most stuff I found was probably single use plastics. So, um, yeah, especially here, right? Uh, no, like stuff like, like water bottles, mm -hmm. um, right. which I actually think probably have a bigger impact because there's so many of them. Um, right. And they don't break down yeah. um, in the ocean, um, or they break into like, it takes a very long time to break down. Um, and that can be harmful for the animals because they um, ingest um, the plastics and then they, well, they're unable to eat um, other food. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. So, wow, finally. Yeah, what a sort of rubbish we collected in two hours. So I'm very grateful to Rita and all our volunteers who participated today in this important initiative, Clean Up Australia Day 2021. Uh, the shiny Sydney facade could be deceiving, actually, as you know, everyone can see. Yeah, anyway, have a great day. And